night, a local mother says that she is pulling her child out of Schroeder High School over alleged sexual harassment. Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. Brittany Harry joins us live with a story you will only see right here on Fox 19 Now. What do you know, Brittany? Well, Robin, Trisha, we know tonight that the mother, we're not going to be identifying her because really to protect her 12 year old daughter. But this mother says that she got a call from the school here earlier this week, and she says she was incredibly shocked by what she found out in discussions with school officials. And now she says that she has no plans on letting her child return to this school. He begins to explain to me that my daughter has been sexually harassed by security. And I said, what? You're kidding me. I'm in shock. I'm, you know. No words any parent wants to hear. This mom says she learned inappropriate messages were allegedly being sent to her daughter's phone by a Schroeder High School employee. This text thread she provided reads, quote, what class you in? Other messages were allegedly sent through social media. Heart emojis and other things asking what class she's in. And this is in the middle of the day. You shouldn't be texting her at all. And then heart emo emojis. That's just you know, that's unacceptable. So he then also tells me on her way from the bathroom back to class, he asked for my daughter to come here. And when she did, he had whispered in her ear, could he, he perform oral sex on her? The mom says her 12 year old daughter walked away and shortly after told her friends. She says her daughter's friends then reported it to school officials. I'm very grateful and thankful that her friends had went to a teacher because no telling where it could have led. And for him to do what he'd done, he was comfortable. Fox 19 isn't naming the employee because charges haven't been filed in this case. We reached out to Cincinnati Public Schools asking if the person allegedly involved is employed with the district and if so, what his current status is. They responded, quote, the individual is employed by Cincinnati Public Schools, but on leave pending the results of an investigation. So I'm going to take her out of this school. I don't feel comfortable at all because I don't want any type of retaliation against my child or other students, you know. Right now, she says her daughter is feeling a little uneasy. The mom hopes eventually charges will be pressed. She fears the inappropriate behavior has gone on far too long. It's more students that have came forward and since it has been brung out about him and other, you know, I don't know, it's, it shocks me, it, you know, it hurts my heart. And we do expect to learn more about this employee and his status with CPS. And I will continue to follow up and ask questions to Cincinnati Public Schools officials. Meanwhile, I also reached out to the Cincinnati Police Department just to see if they were aware of this. I was told to file a public records request. I did that yesterday. I was told today that the report is not done yet, so it can't be provided to me, but that they are aware of the allegations and that there is an investigation that is going to be happening. For now, I'm reporting live in Madisonville, Brittany Harry, Fox 19 Now. Brittany, thank you.